Good morning and welcome to my first Facebook Live here on Maximize Marketing Club. Uh, this is pretty new to me, but I think the best way for you to let me know you're here is if you click on the like button and then it will put your name up on the screen. I think. We'll give that a try. Anyway, I just have a very short presentation for you this morning. And if you've got any questions, please type them in the comments and I will get to those when I'm done with the formal presentation. So I'm here this morning to talk about creating a strong call to action. So have you ever posted something on your blog or sent out an email or a social media post and you're all pumped up and then nothing happens? Well, there's a chance that you may not have included a strong call to action. Now, Rich Gordon of Direct Response defines a call to action as the part of your online content where you lay out what you want your reader to do. You um, list the practical benefits that they will get if they do that, and you ultimately seek to persuade them to take the action that you want them to take. So if you don't give your reader something to do when they finish reading your post, you're missing out on a valuable opportunity. Every form of communication with your prospects and your customers needs to include a call to action. So before you can write your call to action, you need to determine what it is that you're hoping to achieve from this particular piece of content. And once you know that, then you can um, write a call to action that will guide them towards taking that step. So what your call to action is, it's gonna depend on what type of action you're looking for, what type of results you're looking for. So if you're looking to uh, gain recognition as an expert or build your community or strengthen your personal brand, you might want people to engage with you by leaving a comment or sharing your, your content with their followers. And of course, those options are nearly always exist, but sometimes people need a nudge. So if you really want comments, ask for comments, or even better, ask a question that people will just really want to answer in the comments. Now, if your um, goal is to increase the number of your followers or subscribers, then ask people, hey, John, you know, sign up for my newsletter or follow me on Twitter or add my blog to your RSS reader. And thirdly, if you're actually looking for a sale, ask people to um, buy the product or sign up for your course or whatever it is, book, uh, book a consultation. So you might be thinking, well, of course I want the sale, so that's that I should always ask people to contact me, you know, to book a consultation or whatever. But don't forget that you have to build a relationship with with your audience first. And once they come to know, like, and trust you, then they'll be comfortable doing business with you. So, you know, it's okay to sometimes ask for the sale, but that should not be your call to action each and every time. So to increase the chance that people will follow through on the call to action, instead of focusing on your product or service, focus on the benefit that your reader will get if they do act on your call to action. So for example, you know, order today and get free shipping or a discount. Um, join my mailing list and get free tips to help you grow your business. Some of the most persuasive words that you can use in a call to action or other copy is free, you, and new. Those words, there are lots of them that are uh, compelling but those are particularly strong. So be careful that you don't put multiple calls to action on the same page because people will just get confused and probably not do any of them. So you want ideally your call to action should be concise and start with a strong action verb. So do this, download here, sign up here, buy now. Um, you can put it in its own paragraph to make it stand out or bold letters or depending where it is on the page, maybe it could be a button or a graphic that they have to click on. Um, just you want to make sure that it stands out and that it's clear what's expected. 
Now, no matter how much thought you put into writing your call to action, sometimes you just won't get the results you're looking for. That's okay, just try changing it and um, see what happens next time. Trial and error. So before you post anything on your blog, your website, social media, or send out an email, do yourself a favor. Think about what it is you're trying to achieve and what action you want your readers to take in order, you know, guide them to taking that action. So thank you so much for listening to my first Facebook Live. How did I do? Please leave a comment and let me know what you think and whether you'd like me to do more of these. And if so, what would you like to learn about? Thank you.